Good morning, everyone. It's 12 21 2020, and I wanted to come on and talk about the Antarctic ice melting disaster. NASA has recently discovered that under the continent of Antarctica, there is a massive mantle plume producing almost the same amount of heat as the Yellowstone supervolcano. As a result, the plates have been melting at an extraordinary rate, and the results could generate an apocalyptic catastrophe all around the planet. 2020 has been a year of unprecedented disasters, the virus pandemic, floods, crop losses, locust swarms, new virus lockdowns in the U.S. and U.K. Antarctica rocked by 30,000 quakes in three months, mostly smaller tremors, but some hit magnitude 6. The shakes were detected in the Bransfield Strait, a 60-mile-wide ocean canal between the South Shetland Islands and the Antarctic Peninsula. There is a 20-fold increase in the separation rate between the Shetland Islands and the Antarctic Peninsula. As the ice melts, rushes through the cracks of the Antarctic ice shelves, it can destroy the ice shelves in minutes or hours. The warming atmosphere is adding to the problem. And um, at, yesterday I came across this Tier 4 London lockdown. Millions of families face Tier 4 restrictions for months. The health sector Secretary said coronavirus is now out of control. Boris Johnson imposed a tough new round of restriction on London and the southeast on Saturday. Shops, gyms, hairdressers, and beauty salons have been ordered to be shut again with residents told not to leave the city. Christmas amnesty was cut from five days to just one day, and Christmas get-togethers canceled completely. Many were angry with the government for doing so, just because a mutant strain of the virus has emerged. Lockdown comes as health officials recorded 35,928 new cases, which set a daily record, and another 326 deaths today. And uh, this new strain is 70% uh, more infectious than the original COVID-19. And uh, I'm praying that we won't get the strain here, but uh, I fear that that's probably more than likely what's going to be coming next uh, in the unfolding drama that's going on with the virus. And lastly, the Christmas star appears. Christmas star will appear on the 21st of December for the first time in 800 years. Saturn and Jupiter will appear close together. The last time this happened was in the year 2026, and I had mentioned in a previous video about the timing of this uh, happening at the same time that Israel had opened up King Herod's temple for the first time for tours, and the distance between Herod's temple and where Bethlehem was really is not that far away if you look on the map. and. Um, that was we, we, the story of the three wise men uh, traveling to Bethlehem to, to the manger uh, to visit the uh, future king. Uh, you know, we've heard about for years. So, again, signs in the heavens. We were told that we were going to see a lot of signs in the heavens right before the Messiah came back. Uh, Matthew 24 and things are just, events are just exploding. And here in the state of Michigan, they had a rollback at the 1st of December on the restaurants that could do carry out only. They can't have indoor dining, which indoor dining was only at 50% anyway. So at the beginning of December, the governor rolled that back for restaurants only and some other things closed too. Theaters, bowling alleys, gyms. But I guess they're reopening on Monday. But she extended the uh, carry out only for the restaurants till January 15th. And so as a result, in another article I was looking at, uh, restaurant owners were talking about uh, this one restaurant uh, owner owns a lot of different restaurants in the Metro Detroit area. And he had to lay off over 700 people just out of his restaurants and so all of these hundreds of people out of the restaurants the restaurant workers added to the unemployment uh, roles here in the state of michigan and so right now the unemployment rate here is getting worse 
Um, and that concludes it for dead today. I got to do the uh, stories as quick as I can to get it in before the camera shuts down again. And this is about the 10th take. So thanks for watching. God bless you each and all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll see you again real soon.